What's up guys, Tobias here and welcome to a brand new Ultimate Team series which I'm bringing to my channel. As you can tell then if you saw at the bottom right hand side there, this is on a brand new gamertag, Mr. Nobody. So I'm at level 1 on the EA um, servers and I am literally starting from scratch on Ultimate Team. Hopefully in this series I'll be able to show you guys a few little trading tips and ways to improve your game online as well as on FIFA 13's Ultimate Team. Um, so I'm going to be showing you as many tips as I just said in every single episode on how to get as many more coins than you already do so as you can see here then at the beginning then the first thing it did when I went onto ultimate team is it made me choose one of these five players some of you may have had it on my main account I didn't actually get this when I started ultimate team this year but it is a new thing that they have brought into FIFA 13 this year and if you haven't seen it you probably don't have a clue what it's about um, but basically all you have to do is you pick one of those five players I did go for Messi obviously because he is the highest rated and it will give you a 100 chemistry team based around that player for example uh, Messi Messi is Argentinian and he is in the Spanish BBVA league so it gave me a starting 11 ba based around Argentinian slash BBVA players so unfortunately it didn't give me um, any uh, Argentinian players it did just give me probably one of the best um, BBVA squads you can get and obviously because it makes you play it offline all you have to do is play one game offline um, and it gives you I don't even know what the difficulty is but as you can see this game was like probably one of the easiest games I'll ever play on Ultimate Team so I'm not showing you the full goals because they literally were going in at every second so I did win that to 8 0. Um, but that, then that just goes you to the club name and everything. So I did set up the club name as Mr. Dun Mr. Nobody FC just because I didn't want any of that um, unoriginal J Jimmy Savile under 12s or whatever it is so we did just go for the club name mr nobody f nobody fc sorry uh, and the abbreviation did uh, auto default to knob so uh, we're gonna roll with that anyway but after once i'd renamed my club and everything it did give me my starter pack then so that is just a pack of all bronze if you're really really lucky you'll get a silver um i have seen people that never actually got a silver but luckily for me i did get flores the argentinian uh, 70 rated silver center attacking mid so obviously because then everyone's in different formations have to find the best formation and that is my best tip if anyone's restarting their ultimate team which I highly doubt they will or when even on future FIFA's the best thing you need to do when you first start um, ultimate team is try and rearrange your squad to try and get as much chemistry as possible so as you can see then, I've managed to get mine up to 41, which is still absolutely shocking. Uh, but then FIFA was really, really kind. It must have been loving me, and it did give me a extra bronze pack. So as you can see here then, um, it's telling me how to open packs, as if I, of all people, don't know how to open packs. So I did get my first ever reward pack, and as you can see, we got um, Milsom, uh, who is a fairly decent bronze shiny player. He is fairly quick for a bronze player as well. He does have that 69 pace, 62 rated overall English centimid. So... It did seem that the majority of this squad were English players, so again, that works to the best way to improve your chemistry. So after a lot of switching around here, I've got it all speeded up for you. We did end up managing to get four, uh, 60 chemistry, so we did push that up from 40 to 60 from that reward pack, which 20 chemistry is a uh, bonus extra added onto that is absolutely brilliant. Um, so once I'd made that squad, I did go on to my first uh, online game. I is really, it is really an absolute risk playing an online game. Fortunately for me, it came up to a bang even squad. Uh, he's got a bronze squad obviously just started ultimate team i've got a brand new squad start, having just started an ultimate team um however he's only got 37 chemistry whereas i did have that seven, uh, 60 chemistry so he's nearly got half the chemistry that i did so i did go into this game looking fairly confident but after a while playing this guy i did learn the way he was playing ultimate team um i could tell he hadn't played this wasn't the first time he played ultimate team simply because even though all the bronze players don't have the best uh, skill moves and everything the skill moves that his team were able to use he was making full use of by all the step overs and everything but nonetheless then uh, Noble Lazarus, Lazarus then did get a break here then in the 11th minute and did manage to bag me that was 1-0 lead within the 11 minutes which is always good but as you saw there then this guy loved his slide tackling he literally whenever he could he'd go in for a slide tackle which if you know someone's going to be doing that in a game you can just literally take your finger off the sprint and just wait for him to commit to that slide tackle and all you need to do is step out of the way and it's just a really easy way to play someone that is addicted to that slide tackling uh, tackle in essence so he was raking in the yellow cards then as you can see here which was a bonus for me because then I could have just like slow myself down if he commits to one of those challenges and he gets a red then that's just going to make my game 10 times easier um, but as you can see he was literally sliding all over the place that's one that's two that's a yellow but the referee did play advantage 
How the hell that wasn't, I'm showing this here, he didn't touch the ball at all. How that wasn't a second yellow is absolutely beyond. Luckily, I was winning 1-0 already, uh, otherwise I would have absolutely raged. Uh, but Noble here then did get to the lucky, lucky rebound. The goalkeeper didn't actually manage to keep hold of it. So that did put me on a, in the 2-0 position, which is always good in your first few games on Ultimate Team. A lovely pass there to Smith. He should have buried that, but I did go to take it on his right foot, which leads me on to another point. If we're playing with a new squad on Ultimate Team, learn which foot it their preferred foot. If you know their right footed player then make sure you take their shots on that right foot don't try and because in that second that second miss there I could have easily had that a 3-0 if I knew he was left footed uh, but instead I took it on my right but nonetheless then I did go 3-0 up and this guy did actually rage quit so that was a nice 452 coins for my first game but I did want to get into a bit of trading here to show you how to make my first few ever coins. Um, I did rearrange, I did switch to the, switch to the 41212 simply because I did want um, Flores there to be in his preferred uh, position. Obviously, he is the highest rated player in the squad. He is silver, obviously, and he has a, he has a cent, uh, center attacking mid. And with that 442, I wasn't being able to um, use him effectively in his position. But this was, I, I laugh seeing this, even though I've seen it like 20 times before. This was my second game. So he had Nani. Pace, five star skills, epic long shot. Tevez, pace, Nandez, pace, young, pace. Um, P we've got, P I was going to say, P you know, it's, it's not PK, it's Poyo. We've got Ferdinand, we've got Evra. So this team is absolutely horribly paced. But as you can see, then he did try and take the mick out of me. He was trying to be cocky using Nani to try and taunt me, and I did win the ball off him. And again, here, this is only the 10th minute, and I did get nearly on a one on one of the goalkeeper, but uh, Poyo and Ferdinand were just too strong for me. And I did get punished. <laughs> As you can see there, then Tevez got his little bit of space with that pace of his he has. And he just absolutely rocketed that into the top corner. But nonetheless, then I kept on pushing a lovely uh, turn there. And believe it or not, that was a shot. That was not a pass to a trumpet. That was a shot. And that just shows the quality of these players. But nonetheless, just after that, that is an absolutely peach of an assist. He saw that run. The two centre mids, uh, centre defensive, uh, the two centre backs of his, I beg your pardon, uh, did separate. So I just ran through there and made it to one all so I was starting to get my hopes up a little bit and uh, when I'm making balls like this I was just like yeah this game is mine but unfortunately he did miss um, I did try to finesse it around him just curl it around him and he did a perfect job of it except it wasn't on target so it wasn't exactly perfect so in the second half then he did take off Evra and Nani so that goes two pacey players and he did bring on Valencia and Walcott so that was two more absolutely horribly pacey players but nonetheless I absolutely punished him for slipping up there with Noble putting me 2-1 in the lead um, and again this guy was committing with all the slide cha the slide challenges and they are just guaranteed to make you lose um, because they just don't get up quick enough and I did again punish him there with Flores putting me 3-1 so how I won that game, I do not know. He had like 95 chemistry, I think it was, and I had my 60 with my bronze star pack. But I'm not going to complain with a 3-1 uh, defeat over that guy. Uh, so I did have two instant wins uh, to roll off with this first episode in this series. I hope you enjoy this series. Um, as soon as this episode this episode hits 400 likes, I will be uploading episode 2. We do have a lot of trading in the second part. We do have a pack as well. We do open a gold pack. So I hope you did enjoy this. Please do leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section below about if there's something you want me to include in this series. But until my next episode, which will be tomorrow, I'll speak to you guys later. Take care.